Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh, these brake pads. Uh, so good. So good. Yes. All right, guys. Here we are. Over here at Chuckwalla Valley Raceway. You guys have been bugging me to get the car on the track. You guys haven't really seen the car unless you follow my social media stuff. And I've had it for a year now, which is kind of sad. And uh, yeah, so anyway, here it is. This is my 2010 Nissan Nismo 370Z. Um, it's got a lot done to it. Like I'm not gonna go through the whole mod list here. I'll put a mod list in the description. But it's got cooling mods. It's got a ton of suspension mods. It's got some go fast parts. It's got a lot done to it. But the point here today is to just get out on track and let all these parts that we've been accumulating on this car, is a very loud, I think it was a rotary goes by, um, let's go out and have some fun today. What we're doing today though, is I'm not just throwing it out on track and going, I haven't been on track in, in over 10 years. So what I did was I actually paid for instruction from Stephen Doherty, if you guys don't know who he is, he's one of the GT Academy winners, uh, professional driver, internationally known driver. And so he is going to be my instructor for the day. We're trying to see if we can get him in the car right now to drive as well. It's kind of weird the way things work. And uh, get him to get a feel for the car and then we're just going to go. So it's going to be a lot like the Dirtfish video where literally we're just going to go out there and see what the hell happens.
There we go, getting into it. All right. Or a little bit more. Oh, the deeper. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Inside, inside. Oh. I'm faster than him through here. I know! This guy is being a pussy just let's pass. Let's go. the point by finally took him like four laps shit yeah That was my first time taking Nizzy on the track with this setup, and I, Steven's right. It's still like it's still a little loose, and so I don't know what we're gonna do. Like we thought we talked about disconnecting the rear sway bar and then tightening up the suspension again. I don't know. I feel like it's predictable. And I kind of want to leave it right where it's at, but I was worried that the suspension would be too soft when it came to running over those curbs. Mm -hmm. Nah, this this MCA suspension literally just sucks it up. So I'm so surprised. Doesn't rub, tires are heat cycling. Look at, that, look at that scratch pattern we're putting on there. Brakes are burning in nicely, that nice and even. Nice blue, gray pattern on there. Okay guys, so this is Steven Doherty. Um, that name might sound familiar if you paid attention to the GT Academy. Um, any, so real quick, I wanted to ask you, like how did that come about? So yeah, basically GT Academy is uh, a way for Nissan to find professional drivers who aren't rich, basically. Right, right. So anybody with a PlayStation and Gran Turismo could basically play Gran Turismo. And these were people who have never had track experience too? Uh, some of them didn't, yeah, wow. some of them didn't. And my only track experience was racing like short track, oval track stuff, mm -hmm. circle track. You, like you so. told me, you started on dirt. Uh, well, well, sort of. Front, wheel, front, front, front wheel, wheel drive, drive, circle track cars, yeah, okay. on, on pavement or okay. dirt, little of both. But yeah, so that was basically all, all the uh, racing experience I ever had. And, $400 cars or whatever, you know, I mean, they're right. the cheapest, absolute cheapest form of racing out there that you can do, so. So you're one of the winners of this competition, and so, then yeah. you're put on a racing team. 
Yeah, so they have a, a qualification round where you go on your PlayStation at home mm -hmm. and you run the fastest lap that you can. And they take so many, uh, like my year was 32 people out of the whole United States. Wow. And they bring us together and they put <coughs> us through a whole bunch of uh, sim race trials and then uh, they took 16 from that and 16 of us went to England where we did like a boot camp, race camp right. type of thing. And uh, basically they narrowed it down to four people and, and, and I, was, one of I was in the final four and I won the race. It was a head to head race in, in real 370Zs. Yeah. And uh, whoever won the race won a pro racing contract with Nissan. So. Which which you were a part of. Yep. And you said you've driven in the GT4 Nis Nismo. Yeah, so we, I drove uh, Group N 370Zs. I drove GT4 370Zs. I drove the uh, the 370Z that ran in Continental Tire Series in, right. in the States. And then eventually they bumped us uh, to the GT3 in it's, Europe. It's funny, like, you know, I get all excited because I'm like, wow, my car is doing so good. So he, he takes the he takes the car out. I let him drive the first session because I really wanted his opinion on the car setup. And then I felt like with him knowing the how my car drove, he could kind of tailor the instruction to not only proper driving but also the car's capabilities. And I'm thinking that we're just tearing it up, right? <laughs> and uh, I'm I'm literally just tunnel vision because I'm trying to just not get car sick over there, pretty much. <laughs> And uh, I asked him, so what do you think? He goes, well, it's kind of hard to see, to, to tell when you can't get going fast. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you can't get going fast. I'm about to chuck out the window. And, uh, but anyway, so, okay, you, you, we did uh, three private sessions out there today. Um, four and a half second improvement in my times from my first session with you, uh, which was kind of ugly. I mean, we got around the track, we didn't hit anything, but it wasn't pretty. <laughs> to my last session being my fastest, which is the one I actually did with Nick in the car. Um, without you here, and I and I told Stephen, I said I think part of that was um, when he's over here giving me instruction, I find myself waiting for his next piece of instruction rather than driving the car. So I was a little more nervous going out by myself with with Nick here um, than without than without you in the car. So I was nervous, but then I just I just went to the instruction and drove the car. Just go for it, yeah. And that four and a half second improvement was on the last session. Because I only gained I only I only gained point three between first and second session. And then four and a half on the last. Yeah, a lot of a lot of traffic in the first two sessions too. Yeah. And also something to keep in mind generally, the track will always be fastest in the morning. And it did so, that in the afternoon. Yeah, so the track slows down in the afternoon. So your your lap that was four and a half seconds quicker might have been six and a half in yeah. the, if you did it first sessions. So. Right. That's a that's a strong improvement. The car did really well. Didn't overheat. Oil temp stayed well in check, even when he was driving. Um, never went above about 250 ish. Yeah, about 250. You start to get you start to back off around 260, or you'll start hitting limp mode. But man, Nizzy did really well. I'm really impressed. All right. So ultimately, how do you think it went then? Uh, From, I think it went good. You you did a good job. You stayed on track. You had fun. Mm -hmm. uh, you obviously improved yourself quite a bit. That last session, even though there weren't as many cars as earlier, um, I got four point buys. And I didn't have to point anyone by, so That's I was good. happy with that. So yeah, you can you can tell that right away. You, if you're not pointing people by, then I kept looking in my mirror. There was no one behind me. <laughs> yeah, and the, and the nice thing about coaching too, you can take this to your next car, and yeah. the car after that, right? And the car after that, and because the fundamentals here, don't change. Yeah, the fundamentals don't change. Any car you get in could be someone else's car, mm -hmm. and and the time and the money and everything you invest in yourself, yeah, actually pays off. Well, because I'm over here thinking like, well, you know, you've never driven my car, but then it was apparent after by. A, about three or four laps as you were kind of easing into it that you finally were just like, eh. Yeah, you well, know, I, had to I had to take it easy for your sake for the first few laps, so just to I, Okay, to be fair, <laughs> yes, I did. At one point we hit traffic and I was like, thank God, <laughs> thank God. Because the, the passenger seat lies to you. It, it, you have nothing to reference where the limits of the car are. I have no steering wheel, no brake pedal, no gas pedal, so I don't know where we are in traction. And from my perspective over there, every turn was just on the edge of death. <laughs> but according to Steven, we were far from it. I want to give a huge thank you to Scott, not just for towing me out today, guys. I said I had a friend that was towing me. I didn't want to go to the track without a tow vehicle because if something went wrong, I didn't want to be stranded. Um, Scott works at the Fontana Nissan race shop, which is, you guys have seen me plug this shop. They've done a lot of work to my car, a lot of planning with my car. And uh, this is the face of the Fontana Nissan race shop. So. It's been a year now. It's been a year journey building this car. Yes, it you've has. Kind of, you've kind of dealt with the bitchy side of me. You've dealt with the never. You've dealt with the indecisive side of me. Never. Um, so how do you feel about the car? I mean, I know you didn't get to ride in it today, but you've gotten to see us talking about it and stuff, and and you can see it on track from out here. What's it, what's it like? I've been watching from afar, and from what I've seen, I've 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 really liked what I've seen. Your driving has improved 
tremendously from what I haven't seen. <laughs> you can review the footage and then you can tell me later. <laughs> the car looks like it's been doing great. Uh, it held together. Yeah. That's the thing because like like Scott's shop, right? The Fontana Nissan Race Shop has done like the clutch for me. They did the brake lines and, and a lot of the, um, the work that I just didn't want to screw up. But the suspension I took on myself. You ordered the arms and stuff for me, but I installed everything myself. So that was a little nerve-wracking moment going, okay, we're gonna find out if I if I put this shit together right. Well, you did a hell of a job. You didn't have any extra parts. Mm -hmm. Nothing's come loose. Nothing smoking. The car's held up the entire day. Cools off instantly when we do our cool down laps. It takes forever to get up to temp, so it means yeah. it's not overheating. And you're you're getting ready to go out for the last session of the day, and half the people here at the track have already left, and you're still going. So that's a testament of, of the car being right. built. You didn't overbuild the car. Yeah. You, you upgraded the parts that need to be upgraded, and it works. Yeah, it's it feels really good. That last session, I was pushing myself. I'm curious as to what the time is, because I was, I was literally trying to drive at my limits. And uh, granted, it was nothing like Stephen Doherty driving. Oh my God, that was, it's not often you get to be an, an international pro driving instructor. Scott also has a channel, guys. So go and check out his stuff. It's The Adventures of Scott. I will link it in the description of this video. He does, he, so he started off as kind of a moto vlogger guy, but he's branching out because he's really an all encompassing motorsports guy. He's got a um, race car himself. It's a B13 powered Sentra and an unlimited class time attack car. Um, which you're gonna be bringing out next year again, hopefully. Yep, yep, just trying to get the final uh, touches on it. But actually, uh, the channel actually started off as, as a motorsports channel, and it was gonna follow me and my girlfriend in, in our racing. But because we had so many issues with the cars and it's just been such a challenge, it kind of morphed itself into a motor, uh, motorcycle channel. Right. Uh, and now I'm trying to bring it back, but include both motorcycles and cars. So there'll be a lot of variety and every week you never know what, I, what you're gonna get. This is another side of me. This is another huge passion of mine. And I put it up on the tech channel and if that's not your thing, then there's other tech videos that you can watch. But there was a lot of technology in this car today. There is. In fact, on the on the first two laps of, of that last session, I'm going, what the hell's going on with the car? I was like, oh crap, BDC's on. Push the button, I was like, oh, now we're going. I was trying to figure out why the car was intervening with me. Yeah, the the yeah, the, the, the vehicle dynamic control in these uh, in these cars are very conservative because they don't want you spinning out on the street. But on the track, you got to turn that off. There it is. If you guys want to see more track stuff, let me know. I did dirt fish, which was fun. But I'm telling you, Jerry, this is my realm. This is where I dom I'll dominate you out here, man. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Any parting words? No. Just watch more videos from this guy. And and him. He's got some entertaining stuff. He, he's got a very unique style in the way he does his videos. So go and check him out. All right, guys, with that, it's time to go. I'm gonna do what every other car vlogger does. I'm just gonna cover the camera with my hand. So I'm home now editing this video and I just wanted to say, um, man, I had so much fun. Huge thank you to everyone who was involved in this. Fontana Nissan, Scott for towing me out. Um, Nick for helping out, literally being a, my cameraman guy. I did count on him for everything, man. I think he nailed it. Um, he did a good job. There was like four GoPros and an AX33 and an Osmo. So he did a great job. Um, Corner 3 Motorsports for putting together the Nissan Challenge and giving us a place to uh, uh, to race each other and have fun. And of course for Stephen Doherty for his um, priceless instruction, which I will be getting again. In fact, I'm trying to get back out to the track now on December 3rd, only a few days away to do it all over again. I cannot wait. Um, I just wanted to say too, Stephen is looking for a seat for 2017. And I really hope that that happens. He's looking for a team because uh, uh, I like the humble beginnings that the GT Academy started where it's not about race teams being rich and drivers coming from the rich. I like ra grassroots type stuff and so I really hope he gets a seat um, because I'm going to force him to get me tickets to a race. N nothing selfish about that, right? Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I know it's different, but this is my life. These are the things I do and that's the point of this channel is to share it all with you. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Yeah. Am I, am I in the shot? Yeah. Ooh, those clouds.